Denali, poor fluffy boy. He is our most prolific poor fluffy boy. He has really produced some pretty valuable litters. Yeah, so he is an ATA that carries one copy of cream, obviously two copies of blue, and one copy of cocoa. All right, no pie, no brindle. Um, I've used the Nolly LL4. Yeah, and yeah, the other L4. L L L4. Yeah. So I've used Denali twice. I think I've had two litters of Denalis, and um, I got lucky on the deal because I was breeding to a lilac female, and uh, I produce all lilacs. I didn't get any blue carriers. You got lucky. He, he threw he threw chocolate to every stinking one. Now somebody yeah. else may get the lower end. Yeah, that somebody's screaming somewhere. And then, and then all my litters have been the two litters I've had have been more than fifty percent L4 for the fluffy carrier. I just it just worked out that way for me. Um, and they've all been really nice size, nothing huge out of that line. They've all been, you know, 22, 23, you know, 20 to 22 pound dogs. I even had a couple of 17 pound females out of that litter. Um, um, but I've had great luck with Denali. He's, he's, done, he's done really well. So to, to add to that, we've had two litters from Denali too. One was to a platinum uh, that we produce all fluffy carriers. And the other one was to a full fluffy. And in both cases, very successful. It's a litter of 10. And full fluffies that was an incredible litter. Yeah. So really nice dogs. Nothing, nothing. You know, his, so the thing about fluffies is you'll see a lot of fluffies out there, and you tend to see a lot of fluffies that are long backed. You tend to see a lot of fluffies that are too big. This guy, he's not the smallest dog in the world. He weighed 24 pounds, but he, he's pretty short. He's got a really nice coat on him, and he's got this. Real, I mean, his head is getting nothing but better. He is yeah, really his getting head nice. Is getting better. He's got a really nice head. What is he now? A year and a half now? Mm, yeah, I think so. And he's got he's got really really adequate bone for his size. So, yes. I mean, he's passed that on to the pups. That's what yes. I like in, in a dog. Because I want to see him to have good bone. Yep. Um, exactly. And not and not be massive. And, yep. And he hasn't done any. You know, I haven't had anything really big out of him. Everything's been decent. Small. Yeah, smaller. Yeah. Eighteen yeah. to twenty-two pound dogs. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Let's see if you yeah. walk around for it. Come on. <laughs> nice straight legs. Walk properly. Come on. He's got a big poof of hair there on his butt. Yeah, well, that's one of the things that we talked about in one of the other videos. These long haired dogs, they need to have their butt ends shaved because they do tend to have poop poop hanging in there. If not, he no, really just does. Got, they just got a bunch of curls right there on the top yeah. of his hips. So. Yes, but look at this hair on him. He's just got this really thick, nice, nice coat. And he's a really a nice boy, too. He's, he doesn't get excited. He's really nice to all the females, aren't you? I tell you what, one thing you do have to be careful with Denali, he will play till he can't stand up with yep. the ball. Yep. So we have to take we have to take the balls away from him when he gets play time and, and uh, we got time some new playground down. equipment for him. Yep. And he plays chases the ball in the ring and uh, he, he will run himself. He's like the energizer bunny, is he? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're just afraid he's gonna die. Yeah, right. That's one thing to watch out for folks. You know, this time of the year it's cooling off a little bit, it makes it a little bit easier. Was it now 82, 85 degrees today? It's, yeah. it's, it's pretty nice weather out, but when it gets to be 100 degrees, watch out for your dogs because you know, they really can get overheated. And fluffies especially. Fluffies especially. Yes, it's been. How do I sit on this table? This but he, he is, really is a nice boy. I like him a lot. And I've, you know, of all the litters that we've produced, the average price of puppies, this guy has smoked it. I mean, he has. So, so what, you know, people ask me, what, who would use this guy? <laughs> So the first thing is, if you have an, if you want to get into fluffies, and you want to go buy a full fluffy dog, you better have a boatload of money ready. I mean, when I say a boatload of money, we're talking something between a low end of fifty and a high end of a couple hundred thousand dollars. I mean, it's crazy. You can grow your own, and the great thing about this, you can take a boy like this, and you can have a litter of all fluffy carriers, and the value of a fluffy carrier over a similar non-fluffy dog is about ten thousand. So if you produce a blue dog that might sell for five, as a fluffy carrier, he's gonna sell for 15, maybe more. So our experience with this has actually been quite a bit more than that. So we produced some uh, lilac and tans and platinums from this boy. And uh, those dogs sold for about $30,000 a piece as fluffy carriers. As so carriers, yeah. As carriers, yes. The full fluffies, there was a, a, one of his full fluffies actually had a sale price of $215,000. So I don't, I don't like talking about prices too much, because you know, people, it, Obviously, obviously the financial side of it is important. His stud fees, one of our highest stud fees, but he absolutely delivers. Produces big litters of nice puppies that sell very well. And one thing about this guy right here is, is that if people know that you've used one of our dogs, it will help you when it's time to sell. Because we have a great reputation, and we have a great reputation because we care what we're doing, and we love our dogs, don't we? 
he's a good example of it. Thanks for watching.